This guitar right here does this, but the string right here doesn't make any noise. Resonance, boys! Let me explain. Hello, children! I'm going to once again teach you about things that you need to know about. As we observed, Marion and Lillian had a few questions about guitar strings and guitars themselves. Now, when they held the loose guitar string and they plucked it, nothing happened. But when they had the guitar, and they brought those strings, sound happened. Why is that? Resonance will enforce vibration. Now, because the body of the guitar has a much larger area than the string itself has, when the guitar is plucked, the air and the energy transfer between the string happen more efficiently. Because when the strings vibrate, they cause the body and the neck of the guitar to also vibrate, and that is called force vibrations. Also, the strings are allowed to oscillate at a much larger amplitude that matches their frequency, their initial frequency that was set into motion, and that matches their natural frequency, which they were first plucked at, and that is resonance. In conclusion, children, I've taught you everything from compression, from diffraction, to pitch, to Doppler, to intensity, to decibel, to resonance, to force vibration. Sometimes the not more helpful assistants of my assistants, Marion and Lillian. I apologize for their peace. He's a jerk. What? I'm a half-hearted fool with a heart that's broken too. A quarter and a kid. Not a camera. Right. I must be the last of my kind. You go. <laughs> you go. I'm Dr. Von Vibrating object, such as I don't know, the watch. With the assistance of my sister. I can't believe what I can't get all inside of my head. I'd be a liar if I told you that we would win. Can you please do that one more time? One louder. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>